Hey guys, welcome to NX Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you the overview and the basics of NX. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open NX. Once you have that open, you want to go ahead and click New. So we're going to go ahead and create a new file. The units gives you options of inches or millimeters. We'll go ahead and leave it in millimeters. The file name, go ahead and name it tutorial1. And the destination is going to be in the desktop. Alright, so I'm going to go over some of the things here. We got the ribbon bar here. And that shows you all the de design features. You got the block, extrude, pull, unite, subtract, and some of these things here. You can basically customize that by right clicking on this here, group options. And then you want to customize. Then it's going to give you this customize screen. You can search, let's say you want to add a block. You want to click that, drag it over here. And we'll put another block here. And we already have a block. And this here, we have the top bar. You can customize that as well. I've added the block here just as a quick access and some of the views and the measure tool. Alright, so uh, there's two ways of creating a block. You can either create it by clicking here on the block or you can sketch it out and then extrude it to make it into a block. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and show you the block. You can either click here, block, or you can actually go to menu, insert, design feature, block. And then it's going to tell you the X, this direction, how long you want it to be, which is 100. And it's going to be 100 millimeters long on the Y axis, and then the Z thickness. Go ahead and click OK. There's your uh, simple cubic block. Let's say you want to add a hole, you want to come up here, click hole. Alright, it's going to say specify point, which face you want it to be on, you want it this face any face of the block you want it, go ahead and leave it this way here. Alright, so we got the point here on this surface with auto dimensioning. Let's say you want to change the dimensions here. Click close. Go ahead and double click on this dimension. And let's say you want it halfway, which is uh, 50 millimeters. We'll add 50 and then press enter. Same with this one, double click, type in 50. So now the center of the hole is 50 by 50, which is right in the center of the block. Go ahead and click close. The sketch is fully constrained. Finish. Now this section gives you the option of the whole diameter, you can change it, let's say we'll leave it to uh, 10 millimeters, tab, and the, the depth here, you can give it a value, how deep you want it to go in the block, you want it 10 deep, Or you want to 
want to say through body that's going to give it from one end to another and then it's automatically going to subtract it subtract your hole and there it is you got a hole in there alright another feature is uh, edge blend that's a useful uh, tool here you want to click on that you want to blend an edge basically highlight an edge it's going to give you a, a red mark of the edge you're highlighted you want to click that it's going to be a radius you can change that 5 millimeters we'll change it to 10 just for the visuals click OK we got a nice round alright another tool is uh, chamfer here if you want to go ahead and chamfer an edge let's say you want to chamfer this edge here now you got the option of offset and an angle so basically if you want a 45 degree chamfer by uh, 10 millimeters down from this edge or you can do a symmetrical 10 here and 10 which is a 45 or you want to give it two different dimensions so let's say you want this one to 30 type in a 30 and this one you want to leave it at 10 and there's your chamfer alright so there's your block alright another way of creating a block is as we talked about the sketch here so uh, let me go ahead and delete this And delete the block, click OK, start fresh. We're gonna go ahead and sketch it out. Click sketch. It's gonna tell you the, which plane you want it on. Leave it on the XY. Alright, and this is your uh, curves. You can basically draw it out line by line, rectangle, or a profile. Go ahead and click rectangle the easy way. You want to left click and drag out your mouse. We'll make it 100 by 100. Click enter. Alright, so now we have our square, 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. The next thing, we want this profile to be a, a block, so you want to extrude it. Come here, click extrude. It's going to tell you select the curves, so you want to select this sketch that you sketched out. And it's going to tell you the end which is how thick you want it to be. We're going to do the same as we did on the, the block before, which is 100. And then you want to come here and click OK. You still have this blue uh, sketch lines that we've created under sketch. So let's say you want to get rid of it just to have a clean view. You want to come here under view, move to layers, select an object that's going to select your block. And then under here it says inverse selection, so basically it's going to select everything else except the block. So we got the data, datum, coordinate system, and then you got the sketch. Go ahead and click OK. The destination layer, we want it different then the, the first layer which is the work layer, layer number one go ahead and call it number five click OK once you have that done you want to come here and uh, layer settings so now we have layer one which is the work working block and the layer five which is the sketch and the datum uncheck that there it goes.
Now I just want to share some uh, hot keys on your keyboard that you can uh, use. You got Control N for a new file in the beginning. Control S, you want to save your file, your project. Control J, which is object display. We'll go over that in a second. And then the sketcher commands, you got the L for line, Z for profile, O for a circle, so on. Alright, so the command, the control J command, select an object, I want to go over that, right here, click OK. That's another way of selecting the layers or telling which layer you want it to be on, and the color of your uh, object. You want to change it if you would like, and then click OK. There it is. All right, guys, there it is. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Till next time.